The farm families that own Cabot are happy to be stuck in Vermont. All right, watch it. <coughs> yeah, do you hear? Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and we're here in the Chase Dance Studio at the Flynn Center for the Performing Arts in Burlington, Vermont. So we ready? Okay, let's start. Arts educator and administrator Joan Robinson has been at the Flynn Center building its education department for the past 18 years. Joan Robinson is a hero in education in the state of Vermont. Already a legend here. She's a pioneer. I try to be a lot like Joan Robinson. She has enriched more lives than she will ever know. Sown and harvested these fields for 18 years. These are very rich fields now. At Joan Robinson, you're a superstar. At first I was really upset, and I was like, no! I was shocked. I thought she was just getting into her stride. Not only do I feel like I'm leaving the Flynn in such wonderful hands, you know, it was really important to me to walk out of here rather than crawl. <laughs> Joan Robinson is not only someone who I admire, but she's also someone who I worked with. Ava and I used to work together. She worked at the Flynn for, how long did you work there? A year and a half, two years? A couple of years. Yeah. We got to see Joan in action at a Words Come Alive workshop for fifth graders at Edmonds Elementary School. Instead of having each one of you tell the story, we're going to tell it together. We're going to have a collective vision of the story that we are going to create. The sound is fading. You got it. You're really thinking now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys are instantly making sounds. We used the words from the book and made sound effects with them. <laughs> to me, it like helps me understand the book a little better. It's the story, right? It's just the story told in sound. It just came alive. The kids obviously enjoy it and have a wonderful time when Joan is here, and I feel like I get to learn new teaching strategies as well. Ready for this one? Go. Yes! Nailed it! I began in 1994 as the first full-time education coordinator, they called me at the time. That job grew into uh, multiple titles. I've had eight offices and I've had four or five different titles. <laughs> I was presented with a white canvas with a mission that said, you know, we want arts education to be a significant, it played an integral part in school and community life. And so it really grew very organically in terms of our work in the schools. When we are growing up, we learn kinesthetically and tactically. And then when we go to school, often that is taken from us. Theater and dance really reaches kinesthetic learners in a way that really nothing else does. What the Flynn gives to Burlington, to the state of Vermont, is absolutely immeasurable. Kids can go to student matinees. They can have companion workshops in their classroom. The schools can have Words Come Alive workshops where they decide an academic area that they're interested in exploring through either dance or theater. And then we have just this huge cadre of uh, Flynn Arts classes, dance classes and theater classes. There are really opportunities at all levels of experience. School's fun, but fun, then but when you go to the Flynn and you, and you, you learn by like, like singing yeah, you don't feel like and you learn school. by like acting like somewhere different, then you feel like you're learning a lot better. My favorite moments of the Flynn is staying in the back of those student matinees and watching those little kids, their heads, their spirits, their bodies being transformed from a live theater experience. And that all is because of Joan Robinson. Didn't have the Flynn, we won't have like entertainment and uh, like a lot of fun. Go to the student matinees when we're learning about something or we're doing something in class, so it kind of helps to see it and it helps reinforce the learning. And even if you're not trying to learn something, it pretty much always teaches you something. Yeah. But the whole step there, they are just all about getting kids excited, getting kids to feel like learners with their whole body, not just their minds, and, and to support teachers. You know, North Hero is literally and figuratively an island. We're separated from things a lot of, in a lot of ways. So Joan invited us and kind of took us under her wing. We were part of the Words Come Alive project. We had a three-year grant where Joan was our 
teaching instructor for three years. So. I think she truly, you know, like everyone at the Flynn, just truly wants children to find drama and find movement and find the arts. Acting and movement and making soundtracks for storylines is valuable. Because as a teacher you see the sparks of, of excitement and you think, oh, I need to do this more often. I think that because we're not sitting in a chair reading something or listening to somebody teach it, but we actually get to do it, I think that it helps like get it into your brain more and it helps you get like a deeper understanding of it. I've had this experience for 18 years of teaching a camp in the summer called History Comes Alive. We're interested in history, we love acting, and we come together. And I really say we. I mean, I am definitely one of the players in this. I always take a role. Oh, it's her enthusiasm and passion for what she does. And she loves to teach. It's not dry teaching by any means. It's hands-on, life-action teaching to be demanding and yet at the same time so elevating of others. And in turn has made me a significantly better teacher. You know, I feel lucky to have had contact with her over the 12 years and you know, I feel you know, I've grown as a teacher. I see kids going from to, you know, I get to see that. Kids learn, kids have fun. The classroom is a fun place, teachers are empowered. And what's the, what's that mean? I'm pointing to you. If you're not tuning in, I'm just looking at you crazily and pointing, okay? Legacy is a great word to describe it because we're going to continue to use what she taught us, the tools that she taught us to teach history and social studies in a way that we just weren't able to access before. She has created and codified such an amazing approach to teaching that has transformed student and teachers' lives. Without a doubt, you have left an indelible mark on our education program as what it is today. Joan Rombison is a representation of everything that is good and progressive about education in Vermont. I love this woman, I love her work, and, and I hope the Flynn will love and nurture it forever in the future. I'm deeply grateful, Joan Robinson, for what you've given the children of Vermont. You're a personal hero of mine. Don't go away. You kick ass. <laughs> you kick good ass. Joan, I miss you. Oh, it kind of makes me cry. And I so admire your passion and professionalism, your enthusiasm and your boundless energy, your dedication and commitment. Just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for changing my teaching style. Would that all students had a Joan Robinson for their teacher. And it's vintage Joan that she isn't going on to retire, but she's going back into the classroom and the school setting. I am working part-time as the drama coach at the Integrated Arts Academy at H.O. Wheeler School. I actually began my career way, way long a time ago as a first and second grade teacher, returning to a much better situation, a situation in a school that is focused on the arts. So I just feel so blessed to be coming that full circle because, you know, that's always been where my heart's been. Bye, Joe. We love you. Robinson, you're one of a kind. Thanks for all that you've done and continue to do. Thanks, Joan, for making learning fun. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. <laughs> As a middle school, high school student, I was a terror. And I think I was a terror because I didn't have a venue and being a troublemaker and a comic in and, and classroom because I really had no other medium. So maybe that's what I would have done. I just would have been... A hoodlum. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a <laughs> I'll certainly pay in the neck. When I was on the boat, it went so fast. We had a great time fishing last summer. That was the best day ever. Become a mentor today by visiting mobiusmentors.org. <laughs>